we, it's a procedure that we use to treat different pain or muscle impairments throughout the body. Um, we do this by inserting a set of needles in a standardized protocol that we've been instructed on to best reset the muscles and decrease pain over a certain area. Um, a question we get asked quite a bit is what is the difference between uh, tr like traditional acupuncture and dry needling? Uh, and the, the two big differences are uh, the depth of the needle insertion. So traditional acupuncture typically goes, only goes in five to 10 millimeters. With dry needling, it's really, really dependent on the body part, but it can be you know, as, as shallow as five to 10 millimeters and sometimes as deep as 70 to 80 millimeters, depending on where we are in the body. Um, and the other big difference is sort of the, the philosophy behind the treatment. So traditional Chinese acupuncture follows um, these these meridian lines that sort of line up with uh, different organ systems and they kind of follow those paths to realign chi and energy flow and things like that. Uh, with dry needling it's much more specific to uh, like specific musculotendinous areas, so muscles, tendons, ligaments sometimes to try to decrease pain and to improve function of those muscles. We can treat a variety of conditions. Um, we've had good results treating migraines all the way down to Achilles tendonitis, plantar fascia. Most of the time I am treating the cervical thoracic junction, a lot of upper trap pain um, due to postural impairments where this has helped um, as an adjunct for our treatment to decrease the muscle strain to allow us to further strength and improve range of motion. But if we find that we're hitting a wall, hitting a plateau with a patient and we need to do something different, this is a nice complement to our services to help progress the patient. Um, we have done this with mostly chronic issues. We find the best results, whether this is chronic migraines, um, upper trap pain and strain from working on a computer or a desk job all day, to lumbar strains, knee tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, a lot of itis is in there for you to uh, consider. But we found good results with all of these techniques and treatments to assist us, to allow us to help the patients grow on to more functional strength training. So patients usually want to know what it's going to feel like when we do the needling, um, and it can vary quite a bit. So it can vary by kind of where we're doing it on the body, but it also can vary by uh, the, the sensitivity of the patient. So some people will experience no discomfort at all and, and no, won't even notice the needle going in um, to you know a little bit of some discomfort as the needle goes in and then that usually settles down within a couple seconds and then it's usually fairly pain-free after that. So now we're gonna hook up STEM after we've inserted all the needles. And if you can see the redness around the needles, that's a normal histamine response. That's just a normal reaction, just like any soft tissue technique we're gonna do. Um, we can do up to three channels per area with this. And what we're gonna do is just connect these butterfly clips to the metal, and then that's gonna send the stim through the metal into the muscle to elicit more of a contraction and really calm that painful muscle down.